Uh, my name is Regina Wadsworth, and um, I'm the owner here at Our Family Farm. Uh, we have 37 acres that we um, bought about four years ago, moved out, wanted to retire and uh, have a, a life for my husband and I to uh, provide for ourselves and um, bring life back to the earth, basically. So we started out uh, with blueberries, actually. We thought that would be uh, what we would would harvest, and we planted the whole thing in blueberries, and that didn't work out. So our fallback plan was um, our greenhouse. So we have a, a greenhouse that is 30 foot by 125 foot, and we have a hydroponic setup in the greenhouse that, um, we grow lettuce and herbs and we sell to um, farmers markets and markets in New Orleans that sell to the restaurants in New Orleans. And uh, we also are starting to sell to the local markets here in Hammond. We have several restaurants that we sell to. So that, that was exciting, getting that started here. I grew up on a farm and I always wanted to get back to that. And, uh, but I never in my life thought I would own chickens. And uh, that was our uh, next venture after the hydroponic lettuce was doing well. We got that up and going. I found myself saying, I think I might like a few chickens. And uh, here we are about 500 chickens later. And uh, we, we have free range eggs or pasture raised eggs. Uh, very happy chickens that you probably can hear in the background. And uh, so basically what we wanted to do was just have something that was peaceful, a peaceful place to call ours and for the family. And that's where our family farm came in. Kind of makes the community feel like they're part of it as well. And uh, we really enjoy it. It's a, a daily grind but one that we love. We get up and we're at work and it's peaceful and we just absolutely love it. It's therapy. I work harder now physically than I ever did before in my life and uh, but it's it's very therapeutic and I love it. Once I came home full-time we were able to get the greenhouse up and in operation within a month. So the end of 2014, I had a functioning hydroponic greenhouse and my first crop was planted. We both love uh, fooling with the sheep. Uh, we have several different varieties. We have uh, the first ones that we got were Barbados black belly sheep, which are a um, endangered species and so we wanted to preserve the breed. We also got uh, Royal Whites, which is a cross of, um, of a Dorper and a, um, I think it's a St. Croix. And they're very hardy sheep for this area. And all the sheep that we have are a hair sheep. They're not wool. So that makes a difference in if you're going to process them for food. Uh, the flavor is much milder. You don't get that um, wild taste because that's, that's the wool has lanolin in it, which is what makes that flavor. So we also have a few of the um, sheep that are from this area. They're called Gulf Coast, and they're a little bit harder to handle. They're more of a wild nature. I love the feeling of being part of something that's growing and, and nurturing, that takes care of people, uh, the community. It makes us feel like we're giving back. So that's, um, that's the thing that, that drives us. I just like the peace of, of this space. And so far, anybody that's visited us here feels that too. 
So I feel like we're doing something right. Well, we have a Facebook page, Our Family Farm 66. Is uh, yeah, there's other Our Family Farms out there? Ironically, they're not. I mean, we named it Our Family Farm to include whoever is purchasing our product. Well, I want them to feel like it's their family farm. So that that gives it a sense of community. So uh, that's the best place. We also have a website that will link them to the Facebook page and the website is Our Family Farm Online dot com and uh, that will give them a, a little taste of what we have here. It's, it's a, a new website. It's not anything fancy, but it'll link them to the Facebook. And the Facebook gives them a call, he, call now button, which will it comes straight to my phone. And uh, I guess I can, the number is 985-974-1320. You can call me anytime, and uh, we would love to see you and show you what we do here.